that's how we do it in my garden. Spindly Johnny! That's how we do it in my garden. That's how we do it in my garden. That's how we do it in my garden.
course my mic wasn't on. Why, why would it be on? Why, why after a year and a half of streaming consistently, why would I remember to put my mic on? I don't... Uh, it's... <sighs> Anyway, I'm so, so hello everybody. I'm so sorry to derail everything for a, a a quick moment here, but I just noticed in the chat from ages ago, and this is just as I, I I'm really really happy I saw this. But toxic reject from back in the chat ages ago. Um, hello to your son Blaine. I got your um post in the mail today. I loved it. It was very cute. It was very sweet. Um, That's please send him my best garden. wishes. That's very very kind of him. And um, if you're the mum. That's I don't know if you're the mum or the dad, garden. but taking my pill so that I don't murder you. Apparently you like that. So there you go. But yeah, thank you for sending that over. I love getting handmade stuff. It's it's awesome. So anyway, I'm going to move on from that. Um, no one knows what I'm talking about. I'm basically I got some fan mail earlier from in my PO box and the and the parent of the person that sent the mail was in the chat earlier. Um, I don't know if they're still here now. I'm the mum. Ah, awesome. Well, I'm, 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 thank you. Thank you for that. That's, That's so kind of you. But also, we've had a million subscriptions. Thank you so much to every single person that subscribed. I've missed all the messages because they've, they've all just left my screen. There's been so many of you. 300 bits from Harper. Hi, Kelly Keris, whatever family members are present. Hope you're doing well. Believe Crashly Bashly Review was the first of your videos I watched. Does that make me old? Yes, it does. Um, Burke Worm Tales, thank you for the resub, 11 months, nearly a full year of following you on Twitch, keep up the good work, thank you Mr. Squiz subscribed, and Dragon Guard subscribed, and we also had Skynix Dystoxia, thank you for the sub, and XD Curtis XDX, why, why are you all so complicated, anyway, you're probably wondering guys, why am I on this, mem this menu of my PS2, well there's a reason, it's kind of struggling to get this game working, it, it, it doesn't like reading the disc very well, so we, we're here, because there's no guarantee that when I hit, when I restart the PS2, it, that it will boot up immediately. So I'm just going to hit enter and hope for the best. Let's just see. Let's see what happens. I, I am playing Crash Bash on my original black label first edition European PAL copy That's how we do it on PS1. Which means that I sh I, I'm, I'm allowed to put in the cheat code that unlocks every single mini game for multiplayer. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to start a 100% completion file of the adventure mode, and it's gonna suck. Um, yeah, d prepare to be disappointed, honey. The scariest intro to a party game ever. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it's Mario Party, but really not that good. <laughs> Henry slept with my wife. <laughs> thank you, Rhiannon, for 15 month resub. That's so kind of you. Super maze, thank you for 300 bits. First stream I've caught in a while. This one's my work act scummy, giving this stuff five, five, and ships. Can't wait to see Crash Bash getting Crash Bashed. Thank you, Guff, for gifting subs, Harper. Coconator, is that a $75 donation? Jesus Christ, thank you so much. That's ridiculous. Thank you. And also, Rhiannon, um, happy 15 months. Been wonderful. Good luck with the crash. Thank you so much. Now, how's the volume? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Um, I'm going to adjust everything while I'm still here. Is it too loud, too quiet? Just let me know, guys. It's fine. All good. Sounds good to you. It's fine. Volume's fine. Perfect volume. Okay. Oh, <laughs> let's do it then. Look at Crash. He already looks pretty depressing compared to his other games. Um, he already looks a bit like I don't know, a, a rowing boat. He's, he's, he's very angular, That's very um simplistic. Um, Mitty T, thank you for the sub. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Uh, one player. Who do we pick? Do we pick? Thank you for gifting more subs. Altered Danny, very kind of you. We've got Cash Banuka, Cock Cock Vindaloo. Um, what did I call Dingadile? Well, he's pedo dial in the last stream, but I, I forgot why I called him in the Crash 4 video. That's Ned Climax. Um, um, d n Nibbles Brian. Um, Cocaine King. And that's Gorilla Monkey Anus Face over there. I'm going to pick Tiny because I was cheated out of Tiny in the last stream. I'm picking Tiny. And there's actually there is a there is a reason for picking Tiny. I'll explain as we as we play. Quintil five, thank you for the sub. Jason Bandicoot, thank you for two hundred bits. Gorilla Monkey Anus face. Stop being nice, guys. I can't hear the cutscene. It's very important. Pixel Punch, two hundred bits. Thank you. In retrospect, Dingadar being on the good side makes some sense now. Well, yeah, actually, that makes sense. 
It's Cash Banuka! We must resolve this once and that's not Cash Banuka, that's, Uku, that's Aku Aku. You got it wrong. But thank you, Ben Fax, for the eight person raid. We shall settle this argument. Prepare to fight. No, Uka Uka. <laughs> the ancients would not allow it. There can be no man. They will not allow it. You twat. So yeah, for any of those that aren't understanding what's going on, these two omnipotent, all-powerful, godlike masks are having an argument. And instead of fighting, which they've done lots of times in the past, they're going to steal their friends and make them battle each other. That 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 sorts out the problem. Well, they were all in the middle of doing something very important, aside from Rillaru over there. He was busy blowing a whistle by the looks of his mouth. And Crash doesn't really care what's going on, he's doing chicken arms. And that also means that we, we're going to fight other people aside from the other side. We, we have a story mode to get through with bosses that aren't related to us. This doesn't make any sense. It's not very good. But hey, we're tiny. Look at him face on. Isn't he hideous? Yeah, that's what I feel. Yeah, there he is. That's his, that's his melee attack. He does a nice kick, even though he's got arms the size of, um, of China. He's, um, he kicks everybody with his tiny dangly little feet. That's how he, that's how he hurts people. So, welcome to the warp room of Crash Bash, everybody. The best party game ever made. Yeah. He, he'd be better off just, yeah, like, just, just diving, pe diving headfirst with his teeth. Like, like a, like a hole puncher. Let's start the game. Thank you, Cries in Color, for 200 bits. Would you rather have Aku Aku's feathers as hair forever or Uka Uka's teeth forever? Oh, the teeth. How, how cool would that be? No, no one would ever fuck with you. So, the, in this Crash Bandicoot game, this is what we do. We use the ship to deflect the balls away from our goal. And we win by being the last player standing. And those are the controls. And guess what? Well, no, I, I won't say guess what. You'll, you'll see within time how, how ridiculous this is going to get. Yeah, we got one. Well done, Cortex. <laughs> now Cortex is letting them in. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm convinced. Oh. Yeah, Cortex is really not trying at all. I don't. I don't think Uka Uka's gonna get very far in this game of good versus evil if this is this is his best he can do. I've just realised that we've got nothing but baddies in this run. There's no crash or. Yeah, that's weird. No Crash or Coco. Usually there's a Crash or a Coco in Adventure Mode. Um. Okay, yeah. We're still fine. Oh, oh, Koala Kong left that one in. Yeah, they're all letting each other in. Now, the commentary for this series of streams is going to be limited because I'm sure you can see not much going on. I let a ball in. That's that's something that happened that was different from the other times. I let another one in. Oh, well, that's not exactly what I want. I don't want I don't want the balls in my hole. Go away. There you go. They're nearly all dead. It's fine. Oh God, I'm doing bad. Oh, I forget. There's a speed boost. No, nope, there is no timer. It ends when they're all dead. There we go. Tiny wins a tiny cup. Yeah, so this is the guess what I was going to say. You have to win three times. Because that's the game. There's no reason. You have to win three times. And here's the thing. Every other player can win three times as well. So if you lose one of the matches... That means one point goes to any any one of the other contestants, which then means if you deliberately lose every game that you that you play, there's a potential that every single one of these characters can win twice. 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six attempts. And then you can win twice to make eight attempts. And then on that final round, whoever takes that third trophy is the winner. So you can have nine rematches of the same game, potentially. And they're all this slow, and they all take this long. We're playing this because we have to. It's, 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 bash, it's bash Candicoot month. And we have to beat all of them in chronological order, 100%. This isn't even the 100%ing bit. This is just for the basic easy trophies. It gets worse than this. Um, I can't... Thank you for the support, everybody. But I think this is probably worse than Crash Team Racing in terms of um, concentration. Because there's like... I've got, I've got so many balls just flying at me. And there's only so many times I can look at balls before I, I just see nothing but balls. There we go. God, aiming at you is a nightmare. Why couldn't you be Cortex and be ahead of me? Why do you have to be on the side? How am I supposed to do this? This is just luck at this point. There we go. There we go. That was two. Then we do it third time. So if I lose, then we've got to do it again. And if I lose, we've got to do it again. And it just goes on and on and on and on. Kazman, dude, thank you for $3. It's surreal that the actor that played Fat Man in PS2, um, um, Fat Man, sorry, Fat Man in MGS2, yes, the, the bomb man, um, was Pontius Pilate in Jesus Christ Superstar, all the way back to the original concept album. That is the most random bit of trivia I've ever heard in my life. Scarblaze, thank you for 200 bits. I'm going to try and read as I go. Watching your content for four years, thank you so much. Um, loved every second of them. Oh my god. I think I might have to do the same thing as I did on the Crash Team Racing streams. Thank you, Sheriff Duncan Flynn, for the uh, the resub. Yeah, I, I I can't read messages while I'm playing this. It's it's. Oh, it's no, honey, it's fine. It's fine. Um. Okay, just give me it. Just give me it. Um, sorry, where are we? You're my biggest inspiration. Thank you so much, um, Scarblaze. Um, something. Oh God, so I'm sorry. I can't read your message. I I can't. I I'll, I'll get to it in a second. Oh, no. See, this is me not even looking at the chat. So if I'm looking at the chat, this is the problem with this game specifically. Like with Crash Team Racing, if I mess up a race because I'm reading the um, the bit donations and everything during a race, no big deal. It just takes three minutes to redo a race from the beginning. But this will take 20 odd minutes to go through everything again. So I don't really want to fuck any of this up. I want to try and do it as best as I can. I'm already losing. This is not going well. Come on, two more, two more, one, two. There we go. Sorry. Something very tragic happened today. I was intending to make a Crash Bandicoot video as my first for my new channel and was messing up something with my PS4 and that led to reinitializing my console and that cost me all of my hard work. Ouch. Did you shut the game off without um, saving or something? Or did you sh shut it off in the middle of saving? That sucks. Um, I'm, oh, sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go this... Um, I'll say, Sher Sheriff Duncan Flynn, thank you for the resub. I said that earlier. Good luck on this challenge. At least the music is great. Yeah, music's all music's great. Yeah, I agree. Dragonite, thank you so much for the 200 bits. This is from like five minutes ago. Um, hey, Cad and fam, hope all is well. Good job on 101%ing Crash Team fucking racing. Have you still got Crash on the run? Yes, I do, sadly. There was a whole update today with Spyro. It's a small redesign, but that's how he'll look in Spyro 4. What, is that confirmed? Can't wait for more Crash this June. Happy birthday in advance. Don't forget ACNH this time. Oh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. No, I'm done with that. Entity of Justice, $10. Thank you. Hello. Just a quick donation to thank you for doing what you do. Help me through the time, hard times in the past three months. Hope you have a lovely stream, and I hope this distracts you. It did. Well done. I'm so proud of you. Ah, oh, and Altered Danny, thank you for $3. Fun fact, if you do a co-op adventure as a good and evil character, there's a final battle to determine the winner. Well, then what? It's not co-op then, is it? You're still fighting each other. Anyway, this is what I was kind of going to... This is where um, the character you pick actually does affect how the game plays, right? So I'm tiny, even though I'm quite big, so I don't get the name. But basically, on some of these mini games, based on who you pick... Oh, God, now I really am tiny. This this mini game's not too bad. It's all right, and there's a time limit, so it can run out. There we go. What are you doing, Koala? Get back over here. 
What are you doing, Doala Dong? Oh, shit. No, nope, you have that. I don't want it. So, yeah, depending on who you pick, some mini games you have different abilities and different strengths of shit. So, in the Polar Bear challenges, Koala Kong and Tiny Tiger Tiny have the Warriors. second best boost attack for this for this level. Dingadal has the weakest. Cortex and Brio have the best. Um, we have the second best, as I said. And Crash and Coco have the, the second worst. So... Essentially, the strength of your boost determines how far that you'll you'll kick people across the arena, which is fu good fun and everything. But also, the stronger your push is, ah, uh, no, got it, got it, no. The stronger your push is, the more cooldown there is. Oh, well done, Cortex. <laughs> He's so fucking stupid. <laughs> We were delivered to you on a plate, Cortex. Come on. But yeah, so that also means that the cooldown is longer, the more, the stronger that your push is. So I've got a slightly slow cooldown. Not as bad as Cortex's, though, so I can boost a bit more often than he can. Basically, if you pick Cortex or Brio on these levels, you need to be sure that your boost is going to hit somebody, otherwise you're wasting it. Oh, that's Rillaroo, honey. Yeah, Rillaroo doesn't look like he knows anything. He, lo he looks like someone's... It looks like feces will pass through his mouth at any moment. He properly, he probably, you know, he's not ready to collect. He's ready to deposit. Right, I got the power up here that sets everyone on fire. That's fun. Wait for it. That is Cortex. How did that help anybody? Cortex, if you meant to do that for yourself, you shocked yourself in the process. So fuck you. Bye. Ah! No! <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking Coca-Cola dong. <laughs> D, um, D Harris, thank you for the 200 bits. As Caddy mentioned last year, just ignore what the young shaven caddy who spoke praise of the game said. Yeah, like, just, I don't know why anybody would take any word that I said from 2012 with any, any weight whatsoever. I was a different human being. Not even, it's not even a case of, get on, get on. It's not, yeah, it's not even a case of, oh, my opinions have changed I, and I've grown up. No, I'm a different human being. I've, I came out of a, of a fucking cocoon, as far as I'm concerned. There we go. Tiny. Tiny looking up is a new kind of hell, isn't it? I also want to point out the reflections. I like how they're just two images and they don't, they don't move. Furthermore, thank you for $5 donation. Jeez, Gar, I, I can't keep up with all your niceness today. I don't know what what's what's what I've done to deserve this. Getting to 201% on Crash Bash was one of the worst, most arduous experiences of my life, but it was the only PS1 Crash game I hadn't completed at the time, so I felt obligated. Yeah, tell me about it. Here's a few quid towards the therapy sessions you'll need after this. If any, It's not even necessarily the therapy or the difficulty. It's how long it takes and how boring it is. So yeah, honey, like, so... When we get the trophies, we have to beat the, the games three times, right? Yeah. On every single game. Then we have to go back and do a harder version of it. And then we have to go back and do a harder, harder version of it. So essentially, if you play perfectly, you have to play the same game four times in a row. Why? There's no reason. There really isn't. It's just it's just to piss you off, really. Three, two, I do like um, tiny spring shoes. They're very cute. So this is the Pogo mini game where you paint on the floor and then you grab a box and then you collect the amount of squares that you painted. Trust me, it trust me it's more fun than it sounds. No, it's not it's actually not that fun at all. It's 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 pretty it's pretty slow and it's only got 1 minute and 30 seconds on the clock and yet it still feels like it goes on for 3 years. I can't get anything. What the fuck? I can't get any boxes. There we go. There you go. And every time you fire a missile at someone, there's a fart noise, which is very funny. We all have a good fart noise, don't we? Get out the way! I can't move! Oh, I hate this. Oh, this sucks. Okay, right, there we go. Yeah, I'm not winning this. I am not winning this. Yeah, it's going to take ages. Oh, thank Come on, another one. Yep. I might be able to pull it out the bag, but I doubt it. 
Oh, God, get away from me. Oh, no, I've lost this. There's the fart. I think I've been getting really unlucky with the box placements. Yeah, no fucking way. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, but then we got to. I've now still got to do it three more times and win. Oh my god, who made this? <laughs> Apart from Eurocom Entertainment Software, that's who made it. More like Eurocom Boredom Software, because this is not entertainment. This is this is this is not this is not entertainment. This is taxes. I do it in my garden. This is doing your taxes, but with a big orange tiger with springs on his feet. I don't think that the pet character you pick affects anything for this. Maybe it affects how fast you bounce. I'm not. I I don't quote me on that. I have no idea. Okay, I'm doing better on this round. I honestly think it's just luck. It's luck on where the power ups and where the boxes drop. It doesn't seem to have. It doesn't seem to be any skill involved. It's just get lucky. See, I couldn't do anything about that. That's the end of that. Oh god, when it gets to the harder versions of this, it's gonna be miserable. It's gonna be miserable. Give me Mao Cortex. You stole it from me. You filthy thief. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. Okay, I'm in the hundreds. I should be fine. Theoretically, I should be fine. There we go. Yeah. No. Well, that's not fair. No, they're not a 91. No, 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 no. Cortex! Oh my god, that was close. Fiend the Falcon, thank you for three month resub. Um, legit, I grew up playing this game and loved it, um, except the race games. Now I enjoy the racing ones and I notice the monotony. I'm exactly the same. I think the race ones are some of the most fun ones, to be honest with you. Um, Caboose15, thank you for 200 bits. I'll try, I'll try my hardest to read all the lovely bits of support that everyone throws at me during these mini-games, but to be honest, I don't know how possible that's going to be. These require a lot of concentration, even something as mon monotonous and mindless as this. You've got to be, be careful that you don't miss a power-up. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There's just nothing to say. I mean, what can you say? I'm trying to I'm trying to do comment commentary. I can't. Let's do some jokes. What kind of jokes? What crash related jokes? Um, okay. That's how we do it in my what do you call crash with herpes? Crash rash. What do you call crash with diarrhea? <laughs> Not crash splash. I was gonna say crash dash, but yeah, crash splash is a better one. What do you call crash after he gets arrested? Crash flash. Because he flashed on the street. Caboose 15, 200 bits. In the American manual for this game, it gives Rilla more of a background. Rillaru has the dip dis dip disposition of a train wreck. He looks like one as well. Though he prefers to take his time around the... Oh, sorry. Arena. Um, the huge whipping tail deserves, um, delivers a nasty blow. Except it doesn't. That's funny because it actually doesn't. It's, t it's a terrible attack in the, in the beating up games. Um... Rulleru is a first stringer and considers himself a closer. Oh, oh, I've lost it. It's gone because people are being too nice. Sorry, dude. I can't read your message. It's vanished off of my screen. Um, we got a $2 donation from M.E.K. Sama ages ago. Thank you for that. Where's the boxes? There we go. Right. Ah. Uh. Yeah, sorry, where are we? And MEK Summer, two dollars, thank you so much. Um, Crash, is, Crash Bash is hell on steroids. The game really, really hates you for not winning twice like a normal party game. Oh, there's just no chance. 
What you what can you do in this situation when nothing works and nothing's falling in your position? What are you supposed to do? You just you just have to get lucky. What do you call crash in a car accident? Crash crash? Oh just crash. <laughs> crash Bash's new party game sequel is just called Crash. It's just him in a body body cast. <laughs> a body bag, no a body cast. Oh my god, thank god for that. Anyway, um, yeah, and Blended Peppers, thank you for the resub for five months. Hey Candy, my nephew just got into Crash, but he keeps calling Dingadal Ding Ding Doodle. Maybe a new name for him. <laughs> That's sweet. DH Aris, sorry. Thank you for 200 bits. Just watching it live on Twitch compared to your depressing world of Crash Games video, like, damn, it's so boring. Here, take this Smash Crash Bash into Oblivion. Bop! Thank you. Sam Hatley, thank you for $4.23. I just got done watching the CTR streams today. Those were super relaxing. Good luck with the um, cash back scratcher. Oh, Jesus. That's the thing. Crash Team Racing is stressful and fun to watch and relaxing at the same time. This is just fucking boring. Max Von Draken, thank you for 200 bits. Been watching since Vib Ribbon, but discovered your streams with Psychonauts. Sadly missed out on the PS1 era of gaming. My brother wouldn't let me play his. I think he was doing you a favor if this is all he had. So your channel and your streams now have um, kind of been an indirect introduction to all the gems, for better or worse. Anyway, love your content, you're awesome. Thank you. And Soggy Weetabix, thank you for the resub for two months. Remember when everyone was begging for a Crash Bash remaster? That was silly. Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. I want a brand new Crash Party game that has nothing to do with Crash Boom Bang and nothing to do with Crash Bash. I don't want a sequel or anything. I just want a fresh game. That's all. With good mini games. And there are a few good mini games in this collection, don't get me wrong. They just need to be changed entirely. <laughs> See, this is okay, so this is another reason why I picked Tiny, because in these moments, um, Cortex and Brio have the fastest picking up and throwing animation, because they use their ray guns to do it. Um Dingadal and um Dingadal and Ruru have the second worst. And Crash and Coco have the absolute worst. It takes them ages to pick up and throw shit. Whereas we're the second best. Not too slow, not too fast. We're we're pretty good. So I think overall you're at a, you're at a good advantage being tiny or um tiny or um koala kong to be honest. There we go. Right. Carter White guy, thank you for the four month resub. Happy to be back. I'm happy to see you again. It's just funny, isn't it? Because you play you play something like if you play Mario Party or something back to back with this, you then realise. How unrepetitive Mario Party... Like, Mario Party can get repetitive. Don't get me wrong. It's not perfect. But, like, mini games last so quickly. And here they don't. Even when you want to win once, they go on forever. Oh, my God almighty. There we go. Oh, God. I can't aim for shit. What are you doing, Tiny? Kick him. There we go. Oh. What, what do you call Crash after he's robbed a bank? I don't know, honey. What? Cash stash. <laughs> oh my god! Dumbass. Tiny wins. Tiny's got the eyebrows of a fucking eagle. Look at them. Why are his ears so huge and spiky? Is he a, is he a tiger or the devil? Who, Tiny? No, he's Tiny gun. Tiger! Yeah, he's a tiger! Yeah! I know he hasn't got any stripes, but he's not tiny either! It's funny, isn't it? It's almost like he's in he's a joke! <laughs> no, he's not! Tiny Bandicoot! That doesn't work! Because every single animal villain in this game is a creation of Cortex. He wanted, a he wanted an army of animal soldiers. And Crash is one of them, but he went wrong. Ah, uh. Sloth three nine hundred. Thank you for the resub for four months. Hey, Caddy, who can forget the cl the A classics? Sorry, the classics. Cash Banuka Bean Pant Pantsed. What? Or, ca or Cash Banuka those puked on dentures, or as it is known in the UK, xylophone saxophone. What? 
Sloth, if you, Sloth, are you a real sloth that doesn't know what he's talking about? I, I don't understand any of what you just said. Kazman, dude, thank you for three dollars. Quality over qual, qual, quality over quantity only works if there is quality in the first place. Exactly. And look, honey, look who we're going to see. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's Pop Pop. Should we go and see him? Look at look at Tiny's fucking face. Tiny looks like Stan when he's stolen a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his loincloth. What? I like how his legs stick out the side and yet there's an enough room for a big dangly. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. How can you tell Crash is well in down? His girlfriend's torn. Uh, that's disgusting. Thank you, Alison Inc., for 200 bits. To progress to the next set of games, you must defeat the mighty Papu Papu. I don't know where you've been, Aku Aku, but Papu Papu is not mighty. Papu Papu is not mighty. He's a pathetic racist. <laughs> and he eats a lot of food. Poor p p <laughs> Every time I see Papu Pummel, I, I think it's Papu Tunnel. <laughs> And I always say it's like, oh, we're going into his into his belly button or something. Defeat Pop Pop and his minions. Oh god, now the minions are in this game. <laughs> right, now these these are the bosses in Crash Bash. This is a boss fight. Isn't this thrilling? I prefer the... Do you know what? I might have given him a little bit of credit. Oh, he hit me! Oh, he's going down. He's going... <gasps> I'm, I'm losing health on Papu Papu. I was about to say I preferred the Crash 1 fight, but actually, no, this one, this one can actually trick you if you're not careful. What? Why, why did that happen? There you go. Take that. We nearly saw up his skirt. I don't think anyone wants to do that. Give him a kick. Oh, get fucked. There we go. <laughs> do you like playing footballs with midget crashes? Do you want to see how he dies, though? Watch this. It's the best thing ever. Watch. <laughs> He's literally flat. He they just took his model and they flattened it. Oh my god. Hutchmaster, thank you for 200 bits. I came home from a date that went well to watching Caddy play Crash Bash in bed while eating McNuggets. Hashtag life. Dude, you have a very fucking amazing you have a very exciting life. I went on a date, watched Kelly Chris play Crash Bash, and now I'm alone in bed eating chicken nuggets. Yeah, yeah. D date couldn't have gone that well if you're still in bed alone eating nuggets. Sounds like a depressed, lonely person thing to do. Now we're on world two. And you'd think, honey, would you not, that every game would be different? You'd think that we're, re we're repeating the same games over and over again. We're in world two, so you'd think new mini games. Yeah, you'd think that. It's the same one. The, the whole game. Most of them are repeats, yeah. Oh my yeah. The only difference between, with this one is the way it looks, the music, which is actually pretty good, and the fact that you can magnetize the balls in this one, so you can do this. Oh, I just noticed that the background is Crash 3's underwater stages. Cortex, are you even trying? Oh no! It's going too fast for me! He's laughing. You're laughing. You let a you let a metal ball into your goal, and you're laughing. You think it's funny? Yes, and I'm pretending. I'm sick of pretending that it isn't. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> and because this one has magnetized balls, they go like a million miles minus slow. Cortex, are you doing anything? 
Well, he, he got me good. Okay, that's fair. Oh, fucking hell. This is so slow! Oh, god damn it. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Da da da. It's not what the music's doing, but I like to think it is. Where's where's it going? Oh my... The thing is, if we were playing this all together, because you can play this four player, right? So it's like, if we were playing this all together, I think it would be alright. But it's just the single player that's shit. Because you've got to deal with this bollocks. <laughs> I'm Koala Kong and I hold on pools. And I don't fire them. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is going to take forever. I love how the music's got faster and none of the game has got any faster. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is going to go on forever. Oh, my God. Drop one. Leave one. Forget about one. Let it go by. Come on, you're fat. You can't see. Yay! Guess what? Got to do it two more times. <laughs> oh. This is this is the final game that they released on the PS1 for Crash. What a way to go. Oh bollocks, I missed it. Well, do you want to? Hey guys, do you want to play Pong? But only two balls are on the screen at once. Yep, Cortex is busy laughing to himself and he actually managed to score a goal. Wow, well done. How do you taunt? Is it triangle? Yeah. So I can have a nice, um, I can jack off the sky if I want to. <laughs> oh my god almighty. Well done, Cortex. Two in one. Oh my aching head. I wouldn't be surprised if we started losing viewers by the minute. I, I really wouldn't be surprised because this is just it's it's not fun to play, it's not fun to watch. The only thing you can hope interesting that happens is that Keras does something dumb and everyone laughs at it. Because I'm too busy concentrating on the game. Oh god, seven? Oh, I've got to beat you seven fucking times? Oh, six? Five? Uh. Uh. Yeah, can you just score against yourself? Oh my god, no. Four. How is he doing this? How is he beating me? Two. What? Oh, fuck me. Okay. This is getting, this is getting tense. If your definition of tense is going really slowly. Okay, now it's actually getting quite quick. Yay! Good. Harper, thank you for 200 bits. Tiny is a Tasmanian tiger, yet Tasmanian tigers are extinct. What kind of potatoes does Crash have for dinner? Crash mash. <laughs> um, I didn't realise Tasmanian tigers were extinct. Yeah, it's very funny, Cortex, isn't it? But you don't have to play this. Oh my god almighty, I scored against myself. Soggy Weetabix, thank you for 250 bits. Um... I can't believe there are two different PS1... I now have two different PS1 Hagrid emotes. Oh, do you? From another stream? <laughs> That's amazing. 
Um, what a time to be alive. I agree. Sir K. Jono, um, thank you for the 200 bits. Also, since when could Papu Papu sp um, spawn infinite tiny clones of Crash? Um, since the game where they stopped giving a shit. Oh, jeez. Even with holding the triggers to, to speed up, even doing that doesn't guarantee anything. Right, now Kong is winning, so this isn't good. Okay, I got one in his goal. Uh... So the thing, the, the problem I have with this whole setup, right, is that if they, if they stopped, if they didn't do the whole win three times in a row bullshit, if they, if they didn't do that, the game would be for single players really short. And that's where they should have looked at it and thought, maybe we should do, maybe do more games or maybe not repeat games or, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck's sake. This is bad. I'm out. There's no way I'm going to beat him. Oh, I, there's a chance. There's a chance. Oh. Oh, my God almighty. I might actually do it. Oh my god. No! Yes! No! It's one on one! It's 1v1! This is this is the deciding round! Please don't make me do this again! Good. Oh my god. Thank you, Blatorge, for three dollars. Here are some tips. To, here's a tip to help you on your struggle to the for the to the hazardous difficulty of this game. Thank you. Oh Jesus, Holly, guess what the second game is? Oh God, it's not riding things. It is riding things. It's riding polar bears on the ice. Well done there. A far, four or five? I can't remember. No, they do change sometimes, but most of them are repeats, yeah. And the only thing that changes is how they look and how they play, kind of, sort of. So, like, now we don't have any barriers, and we tilt. So, oh, he's wobbly. It's wobbly-bobbly. Very scary, honey. Not, yeah, not a lot of thought was put into this at all. This was a, this is, this properly feels like a, like, oh, we're, we're running out of license for the character. PS2's around the corner. Let's just splat him on something. There we go. <laughs> okay, now, now, now the reflection doesn't even reflect properly. That's not what his feet are doing. Which is weird because when the, ca when the, when the polar bears are moving, it's really smooth reflection. So I don't understand why it changes when they, when they're celebrating. In order for you to save yourself from falling, you can tap the dash button over and over again. <clears throat> yeah, it's not that it's... I mean, the characters look like trash, but yeah, there's nice little details here and there. Like the footprints Three, and everything. Two, one, go. Girl! There we go. Oh, no, I don't want it. <laughs> Tiny. That was fun. <laughs> Good. It, yeah, it was quick. I'll give it that. It was quick. See, those games I understand making you win a certain amount of times, but I don't know why they have to do it for every single one. Ah, oh. Harper, 300 bits. Thank you so much. What's everyone's favorite type of ice cream? Oh, God. Well, you guys start. At the moment... Oreo ice cream for Keris. Just the the plain old um, Oreo tub of ice cream. What about you, Phoebs? Um, I don't know either, to be honest. I just like I like I like Sunday ice cream that's like really soft, Mr. Whippy kind of shit. Like proper ice cream machine ice cream. As long as it's that, I'm good. Put it on anything. Um, yeah, look, we're doing pogos again, honey. Yeah. Except now we're on the twister board. You're gonna do knitting. 
Wow, this just in, everybody. Knitting is more fun than watching Crash Bash. Right, I need to remember how this one works. I think you have to make squares. Yeah, you have to, you have to like... So essentially, you can cheat and just do this over and over and over again. And nobody will bother you. You can just keep making nine points over and over again until they start painting over your shit. Get away! Oh, well, that's not gone very well, has it? Maybe I should start painting more. Yeah, I'll do that instead. Oh, fucking hell. Ah! Oh, I can't move. I can't move, Mildred. Cortex is winning. This is not ideal. But, you know, whatever. Oh, fuck off, Rillaroo. Fucking Rilla. What are you doing? Oh, my God almighty. This is boring. Uh... Uh... If Naughty Dog did this, I feel like it could have been an interesting concept of a crash game, says D. Harris with 200 bits. Uh, sorry, sorry my internet died. I hope I didn't miss anything. No, you missed more more pogo sticks. Which we already did like 10 minutes ago. You didn't miss shit. Don't worry about it. Oh, I forgot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a there's a hidden mechanic, isn't there? Because the edges of the board act as act as your color. So you could... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. So I'm just going to follow that around, actually. Fuck it. Well, that was a waste of time. There we go. Oh, no. It's going the other way. Yay. Yay, I got... No, no, I was going to get more points. I was getting more points until the party game happened, and then everyone tried to get points at the same time as me. And that's how party games work. I can't... How dare they try and play the party game where you got to try and get more points than the other players. It's so, so unfair. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, well, like, party party games. Like, musical statues and shit. No. No, I didn't like that stuff. Yeah, I just, want, I just wanted to drink squash and eat biscuits. I'd purposefully lose. Thanks. Thank, thank you. Thank you for... Randomly ruining my... Yeah, thank you for painting randomly over my shit, which I can't control. So kind of you. Wait, where's that going? Yeah, over there. Oh, fucking hell, Cortex. Oh, stop painting over me! What am I supposed to do? I'm not a decorator! I'm not a policeman! <laughs> Help me! Right. Now let's try this again. Paint. I painted. Yay! I painted. Right. Now let's make myself a nice little square. There, there we go. Square. Square. I did it. I'm very happy with myself. God, those fart noises are really starting to get in my ears. It's a proper, like, kind of fart. It's pretty nasty. Oh, I just got over here. Can you not? Cortex is winning. Cortex is going to win. This is just in. Oh, no. I think I won. Oh, thank God for that.
PS, um, PS Ron, thank you so much for 200 bits. What do you call a pale Rilla Roo? Vanilla Roo. Uh, do you? <laughs> is that what you call him, is it? Okay, get the get the shoes. There we go. Get the speedy uppy fasty down shoes. See, what I don't understand is why they can't just stick to their own coloured corners. Do doing this doesn't help them. In the slightest. It doesn't help them. Oh my god almighty, this is boring. Yeah, thank you. Alright, follow it along. Oh, no. We're going this way now instead. There we go. Right, let's go. Just keep going around in circles. There we go. That was what I was trying to do earlier. I was trying to combo my, my fucking runs. There we go. Yeah, because if you get into a corner like this and then you get this fast shoes, you just keep going back and forth. I think I'm pretty safe, yeah. There we go, can do it again. Yeah, <laughs> two, two, this is the most amount of points I think I've ever had in this game in my life. 247. Oh dear. Oh, there we go, we've done it guys. And the Wodgen Artist, thank you for um 200 bits. Crash bash, more like crash bash my head in so I don't have to play this shit. I'll probably just use this as background noise because I can't stand to see you suffer or suffer with you much longer. Best of luck. Yeah, you say that, but you are listening to me in the background. So, guess what we're doing now, honey? Take a guess what we're doing now. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, yeah I know, it's funny, isn't it? We played all the mini games 10 minutes ago and you don't remember anything that we just did. Yep. Yeah. We're fighting each other. Three, Here we go. One, go. I would start going for some of the additional shit, like the gems and the re um, relics and stuff. Um, no, the crystals and the gems and the relics. I can't remember what the hell they have in this game. Um, I would start going for it, but the problem is... Uh... It's great in these games when you can get the, the computer players trapped, because most of them don't jump over holes. Oh god, Tiny's ear holes look like anuses. Look like the, the, the back end of a cat. But yeah, like I don't, I don't even remember if you actually unlock those um, those extra challenges until you like beat the boss or like finish the game first time or something. Like there is there is a. Either way, I'm not going to bother going going and getting all of the... I'm going to do a Crash Team Racing thing, basically. Where we're going to beat the main game first, and then... Because it's going to be repetitive enough as it is, so it's like... I don't see the satisfaction in going through the same level that I already won three times in a row, again, but even harder. It will just slow everything down, and it will get really repetitive. We want a little bit of variety. I also don't think I can... I don't know how much longer I can go on with the stream just because there's nothing to fucking say. There's nothing to say, nothing to do. You just you just waddle around and win. There's, like, there's nothing I can say. Yeah, you whittle. Girl. Three, two, one. Girl. I found a girl. She likes me. Will she bed me? Said the announcer on Crash Bash. <laughs> I like the idea of the announcer noticing a woman and he's never seen one before. Oh my god! Three, two, one, girl! Girl! I don't know one of them! I thought they were a myth! Do they have the boob? There we go. Oh, and, and to top it all off, Stan has just farted. <laughs> it's, this, this day is getting better and better. Oh, right. Oh, this is the first new minigame, honey. 
We battle each other in Afghanistan. <laughs> we get sent. We get sent in via the drones, and then we go and bomb the citizens. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> no, no, Phoebes. <laughs> There we go. So now we're in a tank battle. I know. But it, I know it does. And it's really, really, it's really worrying how there are spiky balls coming out of his big old extrusion. Oh no! Look, there's the drones. I told you. I told you. Oh no! Biggest what? Dick. Yes, because I, f I fire the biggest projectiles. Okay, I'm going to put a bomb there if I don't bomb myself. Yay! Oh. So, yeah, this is another mini game where the character you pick determines... um, Yeah, how, well, how big your knob is, basically, yeah. <laughs> it is a dick-sized contest, really. So, um, if you're um, Rillaroo or Dingadal, you can fire the fastest, but you have the weakest shot. Um, Cortex is then the second weakest. Um, Crash is then the third weakest, and we're the strongest. But because of that, mean that mean, but because of that, that means we um, we f we fire the slowest. And to be honest, I prefer firing slowly um, and just getting lucky because. You can't fire until the, the shot leaves the screen anyway. So even though Dingadile and everyone can, like, even though Rillaroo can shoot quite rapidly, you still have to wait for the bullet to stop, and the bullet speed doesn't change for each character. So if the bullet speed is the same, you might as well just go with the, the slowest firing character and wait for the bullet to hit somebody. So yeah, I actually think in many ways the um, the power characters, the big, the big boys are, um, the big boys are a bit overpowered, actually, now that I think about it. They've There we go. Good. Oh, it... What? You just described that mini game as a sex ed cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> when the ma <laughs> when the male and female meet for the first time, he'll get an erection. The erection looks a little bit like the end of a cannon. Don't be worried if the spiky balls come out, it just means he likes you. Now we have to go to the Bearminator. The Bearminator. No, this is where we gotta start getting the optional shit. We can't just go for the main game. Oh no! I've gotta go back to World 1. Yeah, I know, I know. Because I need to get extra, I need to do the same levels again, but with harder stipulations. Like, don't get touched once, or you have five lives and everyone has 15 or something. Yep, there they are. Well, then I might as well, I might as well do them while I'm here then. I thought I'd be able to get away with going from story to story, but I guess not. Oh, God. Feathermore, thank you for $1. As a topic of conversation, which game let you down the most? Not, nah, not really any, to be honest. For my part, I was looking forward to Balan Wonder, Wonder World, and then that demo happened. I, I, maybe past me would be able to tell you, but I don't really feel like that anymore, to be honest. Um, Porkins, thank you for 300 bits. It, very excited, it's Bandicoot Month, can't wait to see what's in store. Well, this is in store. Th playing Crash Bash. So they force you to go through the same game three times in a row to win, and then they force you to go back and pick the games that you least hated to get the... Sh I'm only on boss two, and they want you to go and fucking 100% most of these levels again. This this should be optional for completion, not a, a requirement to get to the next boss. At least make it a requirement for the final boss. So yeah, look, so it's the same thing, honey. But now I've got nine hits and everyone's got 15. So that's that's the only difference. It's the same thing. I think, though, you only have to win it once. So at least that's something. Oh, well, you've died a little bit. You're not playing it. And this is why, honey. And this is why I explained in the Crash Team Racing streams. This is why I did not want to do a two-player adventure mode. Because you'd have to do this with me. 
and you've got no choice. You can't just you can't d duck in and out of the game. Once you've once you've committed, you have to build, play as a second character. Yep, yep, that's the that's the problem. So if if we're both as good as each other, then we that we basically there's a potential that like we could both win twice, and then one of us has to one of us has to win three times. It's not like a group effort thing. So it's like you could win three times or I could win three times. So we have to decide before each match who's going to win. And then hopefully that's the thing that happens. If not, then we don't, none of us win. Hmm. Yeah. That's how we do it in my garden. The, na the, the game's the one that you... What? Oh, 50... Oh, the, fi the 50... The 50 um, table games or whatever it was, yeah. Yeah, Ludo's very stressful on that. 51 worldwide games, I think it's called, yeah. Ludo is very stressful. Oh, thank God, you only have to do it once. Okay. Well, yeah, but it's also quick and it's fast paced and you don't have any and you can do whatever you want. That's what a party game should be. You should be able to just jump in and have fun. But but OK, well, this is this is this is the this is the icing on the cake, honey. Right. OK, so you have four versions of the ball game, four versions of the polar bear game, four versions of the fighting game and four versions of the pogo stick game. OK, right. All of them are unlocked for multiplayer, just if you want to jump in and have a four-player match or whatever. All of them are unlocked from the beginning. The tanks and every other further minigame isn't unlocked until you beat it in single player. So you have to do this if you want the most fun with multiplayer, which is what this game is actually supposed to be. Yeah, you have to play the party game without your friends or with one friend and hope that that friend is just as good as the game as you are. Otherwise, you're going to keep losing over and over again because with the, with the challenges, if one of you loses, you both lose. So yeah, that's why I didn't want to do two player. Not because I didn't want to play with you guys, but because if we kept losing on one thing, it's just it will never end. It will just keep going. Ah, oh. so there you go, ruler of turkeys. Thank you for the sub. But yeah, so that's so that's it's ridiculous. It's so stupid. But luckily, I mean, I say luckily, but this, that isn't what I'm doing for these streams. Luckily, though, in this version of the game that I'm playing, which is the original European black label release, because you know how when PS1 games sold a million copies, they had a platinum release. Honey. You know how um, I've... Oh, sorry, no, 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 no. You know how, you know, okay, so if PS1 games sold a certain amount, of, I think it's a million. If they sold a certain amount of copies, they'd have a, like a silvery case, like a plat, yeah. So every version that isn't the original release, which is the one I've got down there, the, all the, only the European black label release has a cheat code to unlock all the mini games from the beginning. Every other version, including the American version, doesn't have it. So you're stuck. You have to do it. Like you have, to, otherwise you just have four mini games, ball, polar bear fighting and po pogo sticks that's it over and over again and that's fine but then as we've just seen in order for us to unlock the rest of the games we need to do all of these games multiple times over with different challenges to get to the bosses to get to the rest of the games so it's it's just not very fun me and rosie i think oh, i've got a memory card somewhere where we had a two-player save file and we got close to 200%, but I don't think we... I don't know. That could be completely wrong. Either way, it's not at 200% for a reason. I have never beat... I've never beaten this game, ever. It's a nightmare. All right, so on this version of the game, we have to knock our points down. We have to minus our points until... until we get to zero. So it's whoever gets to zero first. Right. Yay. No, that's it. That's what I want. Yep, that's what I want. I just gotta make sure that a box gets here. There we go. Good. 
Like, it's pointless. It's the same thing, but slightly different. And it makes it needlessly hard. It's it's just made up difficulty. They've just decided, I'll just do exactly the same thing again, but now you're doing something different. And then if you lose, you just gotta do it again. It's, it's just so fucking boring. <laughs> I'll go back and get the crystals um, um, after I've done because because otherwise I'll just be doing the same level twice over. It's not like CTR where I did the CTR tokens and then the relics back to back because otherwise I'd need to drive to each level all over again. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same area, so I might as well just do them both. They're quick enough. Right, so now I've got 45 seconds to win. Okay. See, and this is where if you pick any characters other than like the strong characters for these moments, Doing these challenges is close to impossible. Like if you if you had crash and you were trying to do this in 45 seconds, you are the slowest one to pick up and throw things. So it's actually nearly impossible just to win by default because you're so slow. And the same goes for tank battle challenges and like the polar bear challenges and everything. If you've got a weak push on the polar bear, then you know it's just it's just so it's just so fucking backwards. Like oh. Yeah, I fail in life. You bought Crash Bash, you fail. Like, yeah, that, I mean, that was that was me failing with one of the strongest, fastest picking up and throwing characters. Imagine trying to do that shit with Crash, who can't pick up anything that fast. It would take forever, because it's luck on who grabs the thing first at that point. There we go. Good. 814 people are watching. That's I think that's that's more than we ever got for CTR. I guess people have more fond memories of Crash Bash. And then, like, this is one of those weird games where I remember really liking it as a kid. And I think most people remember really liking it as a kid. And then you go to replay and then you realize, oh shit, I was a stupid kid that had too much time on his hands. Right, back to the beginnings. Get all the crystals. Um, is that Poofy, does that say? As in P-U-F-I? Or Poofy? I'm not sure. Either way, that that's not a homophobic slur. I'm sorry if that's upset somebody. One dollar, thank you. Hey, Caddy, been a long-time fan from the Rascal Racers era. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I finally caught a stream. Well, nice to see you. And uh, Meggie Florken, I think that says, thank you for 200 bits. Glad I could finally catch a live stream. Just wanted to say that I love your content. Kind of a shame to say I love this game growing up. So did I. I don't, there's no shame in saying that. You must win without the use of the extra kick. So now all I can do is move left and right. So it, now we're just playing Pong. Oh, God almighty. I think this is where the fast the fast um, button pressing is going to be really useful. Oh, Stanley, why did you have to... Why did you have to guff? What the fuck? Oh, that stinks! This is way harder than it looks, just letting you guys know. Okay, I have to do a, a mixture of speed speed moving and slow moving, because if I if I if I go too fast, I overshoot some of the balls. Yep, that stinks, doesn't it? I'm doing okay. Oh fuck. I thought I thought I was safe to move. I mean, at least when you're playing this with this kind of stipulation, at least you're actually playing the game differently. I, I can give them credit for that. But the, the shit with the pogo and everything, that's not playing the game differently. You're just It's just a stupid thing that they made up. Maybe all the crystal challenges are like this. Like, they actually force you to play the games differently. I can't really remember. It's been years since I've actually bothered to do any of this. Oh, Jesus. Oh no! Oh jeez, this is so awkward. Okay. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Just keep calm. Yeah! Thank God. Good. You don't have a you don't have a sense of smell and you pity people who do. Well, Sam Hatley, you're missing out on some fucking great smells. 
The, the good smells out there are worth the occasional bad one. I'm sure I can speak for anyone with a sense of smell on that front. Polar panic. Let's get the crystal. Yay. Okay. Oh, and we get a different weather change. Oh, okay. Avoid the energy bolts as they will knock you across the ice. See, that also forces you to play differently. So the gems are fucking pointless. That's what I've discovered. And then once we beat the game, we have to get the fucking relics. So just get rid of the goddamn stupid gems. We don't need them. In fact, the relics aren't even for a time trial or anything. They're not time related. So why not just not have the relics and make the crystal challenge the relic challenge and the gem challenge the crystal challenge? That would have instantly made the game better. Instantly. I thought I had that. I swear to God, I, I had that. Luckily, Cortex is a dope, so I don't, I don't think we're... Yeah. Oh, I got hit. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, somehow I wasn't out. Come on. We haven't, we haven't, got, we haven't got all day. Come on. No! Here we go again. Thanks. <laughs> I'm off, aren't I? I'm gone. Oh. Uh, Three, two, two one. one. Girl. Sorry, guys. Got to bounce. Got a date. Come on. Where's the power up? Thank you. I got that! Give that to me, you beige motherfucker. No! Thanks. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I want. That's exactly what I want. Okay, let's do this. Come on. No! Do they not get hit by the lightning? Oh, thank God for that. Good. Yeah, finally the dead button does get some action. I, I used it surprisingly not very much in the CTR stream. I, I don't think I didn't think I used it at all. I didn't lose any races. Even with the time trials, I ended up with gold at the absolute worst. They don't get hit by the lightning. See, that's just not fair. Like, if everybody was bouncing around each other, that makes more sense. I, I don't know. I'm not about to argue with um, a 20-year-old party game. <laughs> that's not very good. Rathman, thank you for one dollar. I'm currently doing 200% as Crash here, and yes, it's as bad as you describe. I know, trust me. Um, in addition, I'm playing on PS3, and for some reason the console speeds the game up by around 15% to make it even harder. Really? Why? I guess an emulation bug? Oh, yeah. Now we got to win the game without touching the mushrooms. I remember this. See, I like these scenery changes. I don't know why they wouldn't let you pick them in multiplayer. It's a very good thing to complain about, actually. Oh, I've painted a lot, but I haven't got any boxes. There we go. Now, this is kind of unfair because, because of how slow you bounce, there is every chance that you will just land on one without you even realizing what just happened. By the time they spawn, and if you're heading towards the spot where they spawn, you can be too late, you know? So that's not too fun. But hopefully, if I just play cautiously, we should be okay. There we go. Okay, I've got, I've got, a, I've got quite a lot of points. I think I'm all right. But this also, this is also another stipulation that adding to the challenge that makes you play the game differently. So I'll give them credit. Basically, the gem challenges should have been this, and then the whatever the. Relic challenges is sh should have been the crystal challenges. The the, the, the the actual gem. Fuck off. <laughs> <sighs> mm. 
Naru Toaster. Good name. Thank you for $5. This is a very exciting and engaging game that has zero flaws with it. Not a single one in sight. No. There's, a, there's. Do you know how many flaws there are in this game? As many as there are of Tiny's eyebrows. Which is two. Three, two, one, go. All right. Let's do this again, guys. How fun. I was just about to give them credit as well. God. God forbid I was be I was tr going to try and be nice for once in my life. And then it had to go and throw it back in my face. It had to spit on me. Do you know what? I might be safer if I just stay in one corner, you know? And just hope that all of the boxes come down towards my way. It's probably the safest thing I can do. I mean, it doesn't guarantee that I'll get many points. But it's just, I've got as much of a chance as waiting anywhere else, right? No, don't do that. Well, what am I supposed to do in that situation? Oh my god, I got hit three times in a row. Nine points. Thank you, game. After all that bloody painting I just did, three fucking points. And I somehow just... No, nine points. And I somehow missed that mushroom. I don't know how that happened. That was very lucky. I swear to God, I touched that mushroom. I'm not even going to complain, though. You know what? Whatever. Screw it. Oh, get out of my way. Where's the boxes? Where are the boxes? They're nowhere to be found. Well, thanks. Uh, there's nothing you can do. It's luck. It's luck. <laughs> It's luck. What am I? What? What am? What am I? What, what even? Right. Let's try again. Three, two, one, go. Right. Okay. My my strategy of staying in one corner didn't pay off. Surprise! Surprise! Not moving is is not a good idea. Oh my god. There we go. That was a good point. Good point scoring there. Right, let's get this one. There we go. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you, Lamonly, I think that says for the sub. I would read your message, but I fear as though... I fear that if I look away from the screen for longer than two seconds, I'm going to run into a mushroom, so I, I'm actually going to play it safe. Oh my god, I nearly pressed right there. I nearly, nearly hit that mushroom. I'm, I'm a few... I'm a good few dozens of points above everybody. I'm just hoping that... that that's something that... Yeah... Thanks, Cortex. Thanks for firing at me with your fart missile. There we go. Right, I'm just going to stay still. I'm staying still. It's not worth it. I'm staying still. Ah, oh, thank the Lord Almighty for that. Good. Yeah, Lamonti, sorry. Um, thank you for the six-month resub. This is my third year of watching your content, dude. So glad I found you ages ago on the Did You Know Video Gaming on Crash. Did you know... Did you know video gaming? Did you know gaming video on Crash? And now here on Bandicoot Month, keep it up, looking forward to the future content. Thank you so much. Sorry, I've got hiccups. <gasps> oh, sorry. Right, so that's all the gems and all the... Cr oh no, we've got the fucking jungle bash to do now. We got the the, the the jungle bash off. That's what Crash does in his spare time. He has a nice bash to himself. <laughs> Beware the idol's wrath. What does that mean? Oh, he spits nitro at you, doesn't he? Pretty sure he spits. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Kind of forces you to play differently, but also kind of fucking random where where the, where the it's going to be and how you're going to avoid it, you know. Mm. 
Do they follow you? Is that what is that what the nitro crates do? Fuck. <sighs> this sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Yes, they. Yeah, they. Yeah, they. I, fi I figured they follow us. Yeah. So again, if these nitro crates follow you and you picked Crash or Coco with the weakest and slowest picking up and dropping animation, I guess I can play place lucky and just hope that the the nitro crates hit them. I guess. If I just stay near them, they might just they might just get blown up. But yeah, if you're playing as a character that picks up and throws things too slowly, then you're gonna get hit by the nitro crates before before you even have a chance to throw anything at anybody. So that's fun, isn't it, Joy? Oh, thank God for that. Good. You use their spin more? Yeah, I guess you use your spin more, but still. Spin's not the most accurate way to throw something at someone. But yeah, I mean, with how with how repetitive this shit is, I actually don't know if it's worth, um... Well, okay, World 1 is completely done for now. We don't need to worry about World 1. Um, until we get the relics unlocked, so... What's my least favourite Crash game? Um... No, it's not this one. Um, ah, do you know what? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Crash Boom Bang. Crash Boom Bang on the DS. You think this is bad? You don't know shit. You don't know shit. Like it's not even a ca it's not even a case of oh Crash of the Titans Mind Over Mutant I've got a slightly different gameplay style and it's not Crash even though those games are boring and bad in their own right but fucking Crash Boom Bang is an incomprehensible ugly terribly designed badly controlling disaster it's awful it's a terrible video game. Not a bad crash game, not a bad party game, it's an awful video game. Uh. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of debating in my own head, A, how much I can cope, and B, um, how much um, time everyone else can cope watching, but I, I should be, I should really think about how I'm dividing the streams for this series, th this game on. And how I should do, and like how long I should keep each series of streams because it's not like Crash One where I can finish it all in four, a one four hour sitting because it's it, there's variety it changes up there's unique challenges but with how much of this is just the same I can't even do the same thing that I did with CTR I can't divide it into like oh let's do the story mode one time and get all the trophies and then we'll get all the platinum relics and then we'll get all the CTR tokens I can't even do it that way all I can do is the same shit over and over and over again until the game tells me I'm allowed to continue. So I'm thinking maybe two hours at the absolute maximum. But I don't know, maybe two worlds, we'll do two worlds at a time, maybe. So I'll, I'll finish off all the optional challenges on this world um, and maybe do the second boss. I know I don't have to finish off all the optional challenges to do the second boss, but when the fuck else... I, I, if I'm going for 100%, when the fuck else am I going to do it? So I might as well do it while I'm here. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I don't think I'm going to win this one. I'm just saying that now. But yeah, so for the for the um, upcoming for this stream and the up upcoming stream, I'll do two complete worlds worth of completion. Oh no, I'm out. I am out of this one. There's no chance. Although the good thing is that <laughs> the good thing though is that at least if Kong tries to um, magnetize the balls, he's gonna throw them back at himself. So. 
this might actually work in my favour. Oh shit, shit, I'm out! Unbelievable. Oh god, no, I'm doing this, guys. I'm doing this. I am doing this. I said I would. I'm getting all the Platinum Relics in Wrath of Cortex. I'm 100% I'm in Crash of the Titans and Mind of a Mutant. I am doing this. Don't get me wrong. It's something that I said that I was going to do for Bandicoot Month. And it's what I'm going to do. Because if anything else, if nothing... Oh, fuck off. If nothing else, it's entertaining. If there's anything that anyone can say about anything, it's entertaining to watch me squirm without needing to go to the dark web. Oh shit. No, no, no! Oh, two in one. Okay, this is go this is going better than my last attempt already, so this is this is okay with me. Oh. Sorry for going silent. It's it's partly two reasons. First of all, I'm concentrating, and second of all, what the fuck do you expect me to say? What do you want from me? Audience, what do you want from me? I can't say anything, it's the same shit over and over again. Oh shit. Oh, Kong is stingy again, of course he is. Oh, I'm out of this one as well. There's no fucking way I'm doing it. No fucking way. I'd have to get really lucky. Really lucky. Might as well try, because, I mean, what else am I going to do? But still, yeah, two. I've only got two lives left. This is not going to work. All I can do is hope that they knock each other out, I suppose. Okay, this is going... Strangely okay. This wasn't on the agenda. This wasn't this wasn't part of the menu. Where is the starter? Um This is going weirdly well. Oh fuck. Come on, knock it yes! Okay, what the fuck? I somehow did it. I don't care. I did it, it's fine. Shirdle, I know how- I know to move faster. I know. Could you not see how fast I was moving? And like, I, I actually, I don't know if you just got here, Shirdle, but I said in the last, um, the last butt ball minigame as well, that going faster doesn't always work because you can overshoot very easily. So you have to kind of do a mix of like, you have to speed up when you can see a fast ball approaching you, but then you have to slow down again when there's multiple balls just so that you don't overshoot. It doesn't look very fast, that is true though. Yeah, it doesn't look fast, that's the funny thing. Your opponents will have intermittent shields. What the bloody piss stains does that mean? Oh my god, no! So it's random. It's random luck if you're going to score a goal or not. Thanks, Crash Bash. What would I do without you? You're my best friend. And there's no pattern either. I thought it would at least go like... Yeah. I thought it would go like top, left, right or something. But no, it, it just goes top, left, right, top, top, right, tep, lock, tep, fuck. Although at least I've got more lives to begin with, so I might have a better chance. But then, but then equally, maybe not. I mean... 
Oh, God. Come on, Cortex. Thank you. Ugh. I suppose in a, in a, in a, a weird way, it's kind of beneficial for me because that also means that the other, the other characters can't can't score goals against each other so they'll usually score against themselves they'll bounce the balls off their own walls so that's something at least okay do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. yay Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, mama. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Do something, Cortex. Thank you. Okay, so he's dead. So now it's just a question of hopefully I can score against Koala Kong when he's not shielded, which is random. So that's fun. Oh, shit. Ah! Okay, come on. One more ball in there. One more ball. Oh, wait, maybe he's not being shielded. Oh, he is being shielded. Thanks, game. Because he didn't need enough help. Yes, got him. Good. Ugh. Kazman dude, thank you for three dollars. The, I think the problem with the PS One, I think, mm -hmm, go ahead, go on, is the lack of optimization for party games. Well, the, how do you mean by optimization? O optimization applies to ports of things. Um, CTR is probably the go-to example, and the PS One version of Quake Two has four player, but those are the only games that come to mind. Um, Speed Freaks, I'm pretty sure. Um, and there's also like all the fighting games and everything. Um, but, yeah, it wasn't really a party console, though. That was a Nintendo thing. Nintendo got the party thing down because they were appealing to that kind of demographic, whereas Sony was going for a more all-encompassing adults and maybe kids, media player, CD player, you know. They were, they were going for a different thing, so I'm not that fussed. Well, yeah, there is only two controller ports. Um... But um, there's loads of, like, um, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, there is only two. But then it's like, I oh, know, they didn't have four player on Super Nintendo. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I don't think it was ever the, the point. I don't think it was ever the point. And that's good because the, the few party games there are are not exactly amazing. And, the, and some of them are really bloody amazing, like CTR. So it's like... Oh no! Done it. Good. Yeah. The one hundred percent crash bash long play is eight hours long. <laughs> oh my god! Shadow Dragon Axe, thank you for six month resub. Because of schedule changes, I can now once again come home to watch you stream. The Cash Banuka Gods be praised. Ah, oh. well, unluckily for you, it's Crash Bash. <laughs> Well, I mean, okay, the eight hour, saying that the long play is eight, eight hours long sounds really bad, but we've been going for nearly two hours so far, and we've nearly done half of the main story mode, so eh, I don't know. Maybe it won't be as bad as we think. Eight hours will go by really fast. Like, I think I spent six, seven hours on CTR, so I don't think it's that far off. Prepare for a bumpy ride. Okay, how bumpy are we talking? Oh, fuck me! Okay, bumpy, bumpy, very bumpy. I'm out, I'm out. Oh, shit, I'm gone. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I tried. <laughs> well, that was a bumpy ride, wasn't it? Oh. Okay. Let's try let's try that again, shall we? Three, two, one, go. No, I am doing a full completion. I am. Because I've done a full completion of every other crash game. I've 105 percented cra um um crash three. 
And, um, uh, yeah, I did all the gems in Crash 1. I've done everything in Crash 2. I got all the... Pla yeah, that's the thing. Like, if I'm going for the sake... Like, I, not only did I do 105% on Crash 3, but I also got all the Platinum Relics. You don't need to get the Platinum Relics for 105%. That's just something that I want to do because I think it would be fun and it will extend all the gameplay in through June because otherwise we're going to run out of games quite quickly. So I'm doing it, but it doesn't mean I can't complain. Because look, if they didn't put it in the game, they didn't put it in the game to not be played. So I'm doing it. I could just say, oh no, but then that's me saying, well, I'm ignoring the thing that they designed the game around, you know? If people don't want to watch it, then they're more than happy to not watch it. This is but this is my Banuka month, and this is what I'm doing. I'm doing. I've never beaten this game 200%, and I'm gonna fucking do it. If it takes me the rest of my life, <laughs> I'll be dreaming about it. Oh my god, I do. We were play yeah. When I was when CTR um, Nitro Fuel first came out, and um, we played it so much. You, you weren't for You enjoyed it. It's a fun game. But yeah, we played it so much that Keris started dreaming about the menu music. Like... So, like, that was going on in her head. Thank you for whoever raided me. Sorry for you, you unlucky raiders that are watching me play fucking Crash Bash to 200%. I feel sorry for you. Okay, so this is the same dealio as, um... So we're just counting down. So if I just do this over and over again, I'll win in a second, won't I? Yeah, done it. Good. Oh, Stefan Pohl, thank you so much. Stefano Pohl! Sorry. Uh, thank you for the eight Banuka raid. Uh, if only, if only I could have those... Banuka sweep me off my feet and take me away from this bloody travesty. Yeah, you did miss the start of the Crash Bash 100%, but don't worry. There's plenty more where that came from, dude. Believe it or not, we've been going for nearly two hours and we haven't even done Boss 2 yet. So, there, there you go. I mean... What? It has been a riot. Score the most points in one go to win. Ah... See, again, this forces you to play a little bit differently. I can appreciate that. I'm just going to do this and um, hope to God that I can get a nice big old giant score. 25. That's a good start. I'm happy with 25. I'm really happy with 25. So it's king of the hill, basically. I'm just going to paint as much as I can. 28. That's also a good score. I'm happy with the way this is going so far. 20. Nah, that's not exactly what I want, but okay. Okay. Okay, we got Rillaroo's the closest to us right now with 19. Not, it's not a crazy amount, but it's a, it's a worrying amount. It's enough to cause problems. Let's just say that. Twenty six now, nah, okay. I think I've won anyway, I'm not too worried, but yeah, still. Just get rid of everyone else's paint and we should be safe. Yeah, easy peasy. Good. But yeah, I think honestly, for my own sanity and for the sake of not having all these streams be re repetitive and boring and, you know, all that blah, 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 I'm going to probably cut these up into the smallest stream chunks I can manage because otherwise it's just going to all feel like the same thing for three hours plus in a row. So, right now we've got Space Bash. So what we'll do is that we'll, I think we've unlocked the, the, the second boss already. Yeah, but we'll, we'll get through everything else here because when else am I going to do it? And then we'll do the second boss and then I'll save the game and call it a night for now. Was that the Snow Way Out theme on the Polar Panic level? I don't know. It could have been. I mean, there's a lot of remixes in Crash 4, so possibly. Um, and that thank you for 300 bits, Harper. Win by defeating the other players in the allotted time. I can do that. 
See how much quicker that was? Rillaroo didn't stand a chance because he's so slow. And I don't mean in the head. Oh, fuck. Oh, get off me, Cortex. Oh, and I hit myself with my own box. Well, that's fun, isn't it? Oh, go away! I'm nearly dead. Somehow I won with that much health. <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're right. The, the, the chaos of these stages is what makes them quite enjoyable. You, you are right there. I mean, you just saw I had no health at all, and I and I won. So, like, I don't need to save. I don't need to save yet. It's all right. Just because the disc failed to load earlier when I tried putting the disc in, and I've had to put a weight on top of the PS2's disc tray in order to make sure it reads it properly, doesn't mean that the game's going to break at any possible second and I lose all my progress. That doesn't mean that. Win without the ability to pick up the crates. Well, fuck. Now it doesn't matter which character you pick for this, does it? Oh, but they can. They can. That's fair. Well, what am I supposed to do? Okay, well, Cortex fell down a hole, so that's fun. Um, I guess I'll just wait. I'll wait and then hopefully won't get trapped. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I'll let these guys... Pummel each other. I'll give one of them this. No! No, 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 no. Somebody take this. Somebody take this. No! Got him. Good. I think that was mostly luck, to be honest. But again, the chaos in those fighting stages can get pretty out, out of the hand. and Out of the hand? Out of hand? And um, that means that you end up winning quite easily. So uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, it is a nice background. It is a shame that this is the only way you can see them. Oh, honey, we've got to do your favourite. We've got to do the sperm mobiles. Rules, gem challenge, find Saddam Hussein and stick him in a big hole. Three, two, there we go. One, go. Wait, I, I actually wasn't paying attention. Have we got like no time or something? Probably got no time limit. No, I'm gonna die. Fuck's sake. Oh, I hit myself with my own fucking item. Oh, that was bad, guys. That was bad. Oh. Three, two, yeah, no, the um, the loading screens are probably the best bit of the game, to be honest. The soundtrack in general is is really damn good. It has no it has no right to slap as hard as it does. If it wasn't for the soundtrack, I don't think anybody would bother it. Would have bothered kept keep on playing, because the soundtrack makes these stages more exciting. Oh, go away. Right, that's one down. I also can't tell if this is running at... I think it's running at 50 FPS. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It's definitely not running at 25. Like, CTR was running at 25. Un unmistakably. Got him. Obviously, it's not running at 60, because that's not what our PS, um, RPS1 games are capable of, but still. Good. Oh shit, I... It's de oh, it's definitely not 50 FPS. It looks pretty smooth. I mean, uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you reckon it is? I didn't also... Sir K. Jono, I didn't notice that I had three seconds left on the clock. That was lucky. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it looks... I mean, it's really, it plays really smoothly. It looks as good as the American emulated version I did for the video years ago. So, I mean, I, I don't know. That explains why you look slow in the ball levels. <laughs> Because I'm playing the PAL version. I mean, the games are a little bit slower. I think they're, they're like 15 to 20% slower.
Oh shit. God, we're, we're, we're all... We're, this is kamikaze mission. Yeah, fuck. Hey, Caddy and Keris, which game type is your favourite from Crash Bash? That's TK Hub World, 300 bits. Well, Keris doesn't know and doesn't care, and uh, I... Yeah, no, Keris is playing Tetris right now. And, um, I quite... I mean, I... Mm, it was, well, we haven't really seen all the games. We've only, uh, we've only seen five. I like... I don't mind the, um... The, uh, the ball, the, the, the four-way pong stage is too much. I actually, I, I actually don't mind them at all. The problem, the problem with the, the pong stages is that they, they just, um, it's the repetition, really. I think, um, the, the medieval games, I think, are the most fun, now that I think about it, but I can't remember. No, the, the racing ones, like, the dash ones, where you're going around, like, on, on like, a tiny Micro Machines car. I, I really like them. They're really fun. Three. Two, one, go. Okay. This is very, very difficult. Um, because everybody is going after me. Every single person is going after me. Go, go, go! Yes, yes! Yes! You win. Good. No, I don't... I, I disagree. I don't think the car stages are the worst. I think they're really fun. It's like... It's, it's micro-machines. Like, as soon as you get your head around the whole idea that left and right is the directions that you're moving, once you get the hang of the controls, it's, it's really fucking fun. I, I completely disagree. But it's between them and and they've got a great soundtrack as well. But also, um, yeah, I like them and I I don't mind the polar bear ones and I don't mind the um, the four way pong ones. Um, but yeah, that's and the medieval ones. But I I I don't really remember. I don't remember how how they go. You are Here we go, boss two. Well. More challenges lie ahead in the next warp room. Oh my God, no! Worthy of them by defeating the mechanical bears. I have to defeat the mechan- I have the mechanical Des. <laughs> Desmond and the mechanical Des. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> defeat the polar boss and his army of mechanical beer. His army of mechanical beer. Alright, where's the beer then? Guinness! Go boy! Oh, we can't knock him off. Now I remember actually. I think I think this fight's pretty good actually. I, I, I to give Crash Bash its dues, I do like this fight. Yeah, it mix it mixes the um the it takes the polar bear gameplay which is already pretty good, and just makes a decent boss fight out of it. Because you're not playing it exactly the same way you play all the other ones. And you got a little bit of aiming and shooting, and you know, and the, the the arena gets smaller. Yeah, it's cool. I like this fight. Okay, right. Let's keep going, shall we? Oof. Does he do it again? No. Okay. So now we just got to deal with. This is usually if I'm gonna die, this is where I would die, as a kid. Yeah, I'm out. So fucking hard. <laughs> Okay, here we go again. I also like how they actually characterized the fucking Nightmare Bear from Crash 2. I don't know what it is about Crash Bandicoot and adult adult polar bears being terrifying, but I'm glad that they actually made an enemy and a boss out of it. It's very fun getting your revenge on this sucker. Yeah, it's a good. I like this fight. It's a good mix of everything. It's like, yeah, the the stage gets smaller, which is what they do in Melt Panic, which is the min, the next um polar bear riding mini game in the game. Then they have um. Yeah, they have um these guys, which is just the regular pushing gameplay. I have absolutely 
no damn idea how I didn't fall off there. I like, I floated in midair. I, I, I don't know how I spammed square and somehow I floated. I don't, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, you got a nice, you got, you got a nice mix of everything. And then obviously you got to, you got to keep on the tilt because you got the tilt as well. So you got to keep on the tilt as well as avoid everything. Oh, thank God. This is good. Yeah, that's fine. No. Yeah, that's fine. One more go. No, no. How fucking dare you? <sighs> Here we go again. Yeah, that's the thing. I think that's why, like you said about, imagine trying to do this with Cortex's pathetic reload time. That's exactly the thing, right? So my reload time is, isn't that good. Don't get me wrong. It's not very good. But for the, but for the powerful kick you get, it's, it's probably the best ratio of waiting for a, for um, a recharge. Actually, no, it probably crashes now that I think about it. It's probably the most, pow it's the best power to weight ratio, as in waiting time ratio that you can get on the polar bear. But yeah, that's the thing. If you pick the adventure mode and you go with a character that's really weak in only a couple of areas, but then it's those areas where you need to get the gems and the crystals and beat the bosses on, then you're fucked. So that's why I always go with Tiny or um, Koala Kong, because they're, they're the best, for me, the best all-rounders. Yeah, Crash and Coco actually have a decently strong um, pushback for... The fact that you can probably get away with using it twice in one go, and they reload quickly. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, that's fine. I don't know... So... So, you put them on the fuck... Okay, you know what? I thought I liked this fight. I don't like this fight. How do you expect me to react to this? You throw missiles at me, which means that I can't get around them. I can't do anything aside from dodge the missiles. And then they all, three of them at once, head towards me. And I can't get around them because the platform's too thin. So what the fuck do you want me to do? Oh. Although, to be fair, I'm probably a little, a little bit extra salty right now because... I'm doing. I've I've done this after doing all of the other fucking repetitive mini games three times each, not including the three times I had to win them for the trophies. I played the same mini games four times each, or one of the same mini games four times each. No, five times each. Oh, you're gonna cry, honey. Yeah, you're gonna go to bed. I don't blame you. That's all right. Oh, Jesus Christ, get in the hole. There we go, right. Yeah, if, if I was doing this as a kid, or if I was doing this for, like, the footage of a video or something, I, I, would, have t I would have already taken a break by this point. So I would, have been, I would have had a fresh mind. Right, so what happens if I stand here? Maybe where you stand determines where they get fired at. Okay, that's a little bit more manageable. Okay, that was luck. I have no fucking idea how that happened. Great, done. Oh my, I'm not even going to question it. Let's carry on. Could you imagine if I missed that missile? <laughs> you win. And the reflection of the polar bear doesn't even match me. How fun. Oh, That's how we do Jesus. It in my Thank you, botched eye surgery for 400 bits. Hey, Caddy, what would, would you take the red pill or the blue pill? I don't ever know the difference between the two, so I'm, I'll take both of them and then I'll, I'll wake up enlightened, but also happy. Has anyone thought about doing that? You know the truth, but you're also fucking happy with the rest of your... Anyone thought about doing both? That's what I'm going to do. Max von Draken, thank you for the two-month resub. Right, I'm going to go and save the game. Give me a second, guys. Just wait a minute. Uh... Yeah, I am saving. Don't worry, guys. I am saving. Just give me a sec. I am going to find... I'm just looking for somebody to raid, that's all. Um, let's raid... 
Ah, my dude, LS Mark. Absolutely, let's raid LS Mark. I, I tried to raid him before once, but he was in the middle of um, um, a Lego building race and he couldn't look at the screen or anything, so he missed my raid. But um, yeah, dude, I've been just talking, to him, talking to him a lot recently. Really sweet guy, really funny guy. Um, he's kind of stuck at the moment in London, I'm pretty sure. So um, he needs the love right now. He makes great videos. Um, he watched in the same way that I played, I got every single Platinum Relic in Crash Bandicoot and you know all that shit. He watched every single Simpsons episode to this date and made one video talking about every single one of them. He's insane. He's great. But there you go. So that's who we should raid. And that's who we're going to go and do. So I'm just going to save the game. My name is... I don't know. Um, uh, um, I, uh, my name is S Stunk. There you go. <laughs> We're Stunk. The game's Stunk. And um, let's raid him. Thanks for joining in, everybody. I'll see you in two days' time for more Crash Bash fun. Bye.